Hello, everybody. Jeff Warples here. I uh, wanted to bring you another video. Um, a lot of people, when we're talking about San Francisco real estate, you know, as I said before, there are over 88 different neighborhoods in the city alone. You know, realistically, um, you know, a handful of those are going to be right for you. A lot of times people come to me and they say, I want to live downtown. Well, realistically, they're talking about South Beach, where you're going to find buildings like Lumina Infinity, One Rincon, the Harrison, the Blue, One Hawthorne, a number of higher, uh, higher level, bigger, newer development complexes. When we are talking about actually within the downtown financial district, you know, right in the heart of uh, the city, you know, what we have is just a handful of buildings. We're going to have on the, on the southern edge on Market Street, we're going to have the Ritz-Carlton. We're going to talk about it. We're going to have buildings on the north side of the downtown area, which is the Golden Gateway Commons, which is an older complex, more of a townhouse style building. It was built a long time ago when the uh, above ground, you know, uh, Embarcadero Freeway was around. So, you know, and it has a great location. Um, you're also going to see buildings that I really like is 80 or uh, 333 Bush Street. Um, a mixed-use building. There's another building that I sort of follow that hasn't come on the market for some time over on Washington Street. It's a, a similar ilk to the, the Bush Street property. And then you're, there's a couple other ones that are smaller, like 201 Samsung, which is a renovated building. So I wanted to just give you a little brief overview. If you wanted to be downtown, like right in the downtown financial district, I'm going to go through a couple options for you that that might be of interest to you, maybe, maybe not. Um, but I wanted to give you a quick little overview of them uh, just in case, okay? So I'm gonna close out uh, my window here. I'm gonna pull you to the side. And we're gonna start with the, the uh, we're just gonna take a look at some of the buildings. Here's the MLS. I'm gonna quickly, 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 can I say that again? Quickly go through it. So the, uh, the boundaries are really, you know, Embarcadero, Market Street, north of Market Street, and you get to like New Montgomery. Uh, you also get up the, up the hill a little bit. You'll see that there's a, a property here, uh, which is a one-off. I've sold buildings, sold a couple of buildings or units within this building at two or 720 Stockton Street, um, which is a unique little property on itself. But I'm going to go through some of the bigger ones that typically come up. You can see Davis, Pacific, and Market Street. So let's just sort of go through it. You know, um, we're going to start at 690 Market Street. Now, this is the Ritz-Carlton. Now, the Ritz-Carlton is a, is a different animal. It is a higher-end building. It is not quite a condo hotel like most people would expect out of the Ritz-Carlton. There actually are a number of fractional ownership units within this building. About a third of the units are fractional, meaning that people own a, a, a certain period of time within the unit itself. There is a Ritz-Carlton Exchange Club, so you could, you know, spend your time in, in San Francisco or Vancouver or any of the other Ritz-Carlton products that do the share. Uh, but I wanted to go through the whole ownership units within the building. Now, you know, the, the, the Ritz-Carlton was the original San Francisco Chronicle building, so it, it does have this really pretty brick facade up to, I think, the 12th floor, and then it, 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 is, it goes up beyond there. So basically what they did is they kept the original facade and then they created a new building within it. So uh, all the units are, are, are clean, they're, they're new, they are not um, what you would think of an old building. So let's take a look at some of these units. Now, a lot of the units uh, came back up this last year because uh, I believe it was the Marriott retained a number of them, developer retained a number of the units uh, from 10 years ago, never came on the market, they refreshed them, and they're out on the marketplace right now. So, you know, this is a building that's right on Market Street. There is a lot of action that goes down on the street. The windows, you know, they do actually do a really good job of, of clearing out the sound. Typically on Market Street, I think the biggest noise maker would really be the, uh, the streetcars, you know, an occasional Harley motorcycle, but really high-end finishings. You know, the Ritz-Carlton has a great service staff. You know, they've always been very nice to me. There is an electronic uh, uh, power station downstairs for Teslas and electronic vehicles, um, but it's not a condo hotel, so you don't have food service. 
Uh, let's go through some of them. Really nice finishings, guys. You know, the Ritz-Carlton is really nice. You know, the one downside is uh, it is subject to a, a double taxation with the Mel Rouge, and I think they have around nine or ten years left on that. You know, there was um, an issue with that. So expect higher taxes in this in this building. Um, you know, you have your property tax and you have your Mel Rouge tax. Your Mel Rouge tax is based on your square footage on the and the, and the units. Um, and there's really no getting around it. I know some of the agents uh, that uh, had, had said, oh, well, my unit is exempt from that. Um, maybe on a one-off, but uh, be prepared on it. And I also have seen that values had come down in this building based on that, because there was a lawsuit in this building a number of years ago. It's, it's finalized. It's, it's cleared out. Uh, but, you know, the owners are still going to be subject to that double uh, taxation, that Mel Roos. But it's a really good building. Um, I really, you know, I think it's it, it's a really, really good property. It, it has a gym. It has a food service, or not food service, like a, a club room. Um, but it doesn't have um, sort of that higher level that you would see at Millennium Infinity Lumina, for instance, as well as uh, some of the other buildings. So let's go through another building here, and I'm going to go through a few of these. Now, this is Golden Gateway Commons, and I bring it up because Golden Gateway Commons, typically, there, there's really not a whole lot of units that come up on the market all the time, but I've seen that right now there's a good number of units. So I wanted to show you this one uh, building. So basically what you have is, you know, it, it really is considered within that, that Jackson Square area. It's right next to, um, you know, the uh, original San Francisco you know, and, you know, it's the Jackson Square Historic Society, and, and, and there's all of these areas within earshot of here. You know, you have the Embarcadero right there, you have downtown, you have, you know, all your, all your things, you know, you have Safeway, you have dry cleaning, and then you have a gr lot of great restaurants here. So the, the living quality of being north of the financial district, but within the financial district over in Ga Golden Gateway Commons, it's awesome. Um, these are, are buildings that are like four levels. You get off the top and you are walking along like a rooftop and all of the units are on top of this rooftop. So it's open, it's airy, you've got uh, a lot of natural light. Um, and it's just, it, it is very special. And the reason why I think it is is because they're townhouse style. Most of the units have great patios. Look at the patio here. You know, and this is just a one bedroom unit. You know, it is an expensive, you know, one bedroom. Um, it is a really nice unit. It has fabulous decks or uh, uh, outside space. You know, you open it up. It really is a nice, nice living environment here, guys. Um, nice and quiet. This unit had been renovated. You know, it's nice, clean unit. Right. And for a one bedroom, hey, you know, it, it's really nice. You, you don't have the views over here. Most of the units don't have the views. You know, there is a one-off unit um, or a couple that do. Here's a good example of what you be at, like a standard unit. Now, some of the units do have a spiral staircase, which I'm not terribly fond of. But the thing about it is you get so much volume within the living space. It's, it's ridiculous. When you compare the lifestyle and the living environment of this, to some of the high-rise condo complexes you know you give up your amenities here but god your living environment is killer i have seen some amazing amazing renovation and you get a lot of volume in the living space you get you know some of the units have incredible amount of natural light all of them have a deck or a patio sometimes even two and uh, i just think the world of this building i think it's a really good way to come into the city the other part is, you know, for this price point, you're getting 1,800 square feet plus. You know, so your, your size is there, you know. Once again, a lot of the units lack your views. You know, just notice, you know, that you're, you're taking, uh, I'm taking a lot of interior shots here, but, you know, I, I'm not seeing a whole lot of views in this particular unit. <clears throat> you know, older renovations, some of them uh, are better than others. No gas in most of the units. I think one of the buildings does have gas. I, I'd have to double check on that. Um, but, you know, some of the convention ovens do really, really well anyway. Um, so let's just flip through the pictures. You can see it's, it, it is 
clearly staged, really nice clean unit. Uh, but look, you just have a lot of volume. And look where you're at. You know, you're north. Here's, you know, in the Barcadero Center is going to be right here. You can see the top of the, uh, the Salesforce Tower under construction. So, you know, this is a south facing unit. Um, and you're really within, you know, a block or two of conveniences in downtown. It's, it's killer. You know, there's something really, you know, the thing about the Golden Gateway Commons is a lot of people get in there and they don't leave. You know, and a lot of the people that have been there, they have been there for a long time. Look, you have another deck. Look at the skyline, guys. I mean, look how close you are, but you're also on this pocket where you don't have that hustle and bustle like you do in South Beach. I mean, I think it's really pretty darn cool. Let's go to another unit here. This is, um, you know, there's only a handful of units that are gonna face the downtown area. And this is gonna be one of them. Look, you got, you got the, the uh, ferry building right here. You got the city lights. You've got the tennis courts right here. You know, this lot, I know that, you know, this is the lot that has been coming up, you know, a couple of years ago and the city voted on it because they wanted to put up a high rise on there. I tell you, I believe and what I've heard is there's some very powerful lawyers within this complex and they fight like hell to keep their views. And I think that's a great thing. You know, I mean, um, you know, there's no guarantees in real estate. Uh, but you do your damnedest to keep your views if you have them. But look at the views here, guys. I mean, it's killer. You've got some great nightlife out here. You look out the views. Look at what you're waking up to. I mean, seriously, that is nice. Look at that. Let's just flip through here a little bit. Nice little office space you can turn this into. Let's go through a little bit more. Great views. And remember, there's only a handful of units that have the views. Nice rail. So you get some updates. You know, some of them are a little outdated. I mean, there's a lot of hinges I see here. But um, at the same time, <coughs> you are right on the waterfront. I mean, you cannot get closer, guys. It's killer. All right, let's get out of this one and take another look at um, a different building. Now, I've sold in this building, uh, and I really, really like it. Eight or 333 Bush Street is a mixed-use building, so you have corporate commercial downstairs. And, you know, so getting a loan might be a little bit different uh, just because it is heavy uh, on, on the commercial side. But at the same time, you know, I think the downside, let's just get rid of the downside. Downside, sometimes a little bit difficult to get in, but that's financial district. That's San Francisco, right? You just have to know which way you're going to be approaching the parking lot, you know, because Bush right here is a one-way street. You get out of the parking lot, you're going back on the one-way street to the right, and you're going to get down to, uh, I believe it's New Montgomery and Market Street, right? So you just have to know your directional. But at the end of the day, it is killer. You, I've seen some amazing views out of this building. Amazing, you know. And you get outside, and you're you're in the in the downtown area. And some people love that. I also know that some of my clients rent out their units within this building to CEO types that want to be right downtown. You know, so you do get a premium on that. the The, the downside is, hey, you know, no amenities. You know, it's not Lumina. It's it's not you know, you don't, you don't, you don't get that, that big high end, you know, in this building. Um, but I believe I could be wrong. I think there is a small gym and a pool. I could be thinking about uh, Washington street though, but um, <clears throat> great renovation in this unit. I've seen some great renovations. I have seen some patios out of this building that are absolutely amazing. I mean, scare the crap out of you if you're looking down. And I typically look, you know, I get into one rink on, and I'm always one of these guys who hold my glasses down just to look down. Scare the crap out of me. But seriously, um, some of the patios, if you can get a patio unit, one of our clients has a patio unit. God, great. It's not like a deck. It's a patio where you can hang out and entertain. It's really fabulous. Look at the views, guys. <coughs> I have a client on this corner. Look, you get you get uh, 
two bridge views here. You're going to have Bay Bridge. You're going to have – this is the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. Got the tower there, Trans Bay. Just code. I think some of, some of the wall coverings, I mean, it's a personal taste. A lot of times, like, uh, my clients will go in and tear out kitchens. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's killer. What's not to like about that? I think eh, something, you know, maybe, maybe not. Um, nice bathroom. Nice big doors. You know, the thing is, you know, you really have a grand entrance when you walk into these units. The other thing is that I think is great about this building is a lot of the units have huge storing storage closets. Not, not a little storage cage, but like a walk-in, you could put pretty much all your junk in. And it is off of the common hallway. And, uh, you know, put, if you like wine, hey, put a wine refrigerator in there. I mean, it's killer. Um, nice red. I do like the red. Views. Views. Let's go back because that's South Bay views. There's your views there. I want to see if we can see the other bridge. Maybe not the Bay Bridge, guys, but look at the downtown. Oh, see, there's the Bay Bridge right there. It's hiding. I think the nighttime views are, you know, typically when I look at some of the condo complexes, I love the nighttime views. Uh, but if I can find a unit that has both, done. You know, and I also think that this is a nice large unit. Okay, we've gone through that one. Last one. So for those buyers that want to be at a, that are at a lower price point, quite honestly, you know, um, 201 Samson, great building. I have a friend of mine uh, that lists property in there and uh, <clears throat> really good building. So, you know, this is at a lower price point. This is at a, a one bedroom at a million dollars and you're, downtown you are within walking distance to just about anything i mean you're you're right there you're you're about a block away from the b of a building uh so you're right in there but let's take a look and go through here let me see if i can just quickly go through and get to the original exterior look at that 201 samson old original building facade it has a lot of character look at that What's not to like? If if you like character, seriously, it's cool. Um, you know that's that's part of the reason why I like San Francisco architecture. It's, it, you know you can go anywhere; it's so much so different. You go in here. Here's your common. So this building was renovated, guys, probably ten years ago, maybe a little, bit, maybe ten years ago. Um, but they kept a lot of the original classic features in the detail. Here you go into the unit. You know, I think it's a it's a good, solid, nice one bedroom. I don't think it has the pizzazz that the other buildings do. Um, but for a building at a for a, a unit under a million dollars, it's going to get you into the location. You're doing pretty good. So, guys, I just wanted to say, you know, there there are varieties variety out there. It really just depends on, and it's it's actually. A lot of times it's easier to eliminate the things that you just don't like. You know, I don't like old. Okay, that's easy. I want new construction. Hey, even easier. You know, I want a view. Okay, what are your neighborhoods? You know, eliminate those areas that really just don't make sense. Uh, and then look at the options that, that you do have. It's like the Golden Gateway comments, guys. A lot of people just don't really know that that's there. You know, I mean, uh, some, of, some, people, some people just – you know, from a buyer's point of view, they're they're always focused on like the infinities in the South Beach area, you know, and they go, oh, you know, financial district is, you know, is, is too hustle and bustle. But just north of the financial district, still within the district, is, is the Golden Gateway Commons. Great. I've also sold, there's a couple boutique buildings that are in there. Uh, I sold a killer one. Uh, I think it was on Jackson um, a couple years ago, small eight unit building. So you never know. There are a couple buildings that units will pull up from time to time, like on hoteling place, you know, other smaller, really small boutique buildings, conversions that are out there. But seriously, take a look at some of these options. Don't just go straight into the infinity unless you know exactly what you're looking for. Um, I just wanted to bring these to your attention because I do think that the financial district is a very vibrant place. 
Some people might love it. Some people might hate it. And I know the city wants to create more of an atmosphere after uh, evening hours within those areas, within the financial district. Um, that's why you have like 201 Samson. You know, I mean, that's uh, converted and turned into a residential building. And I believe there's a building that's kitty corner to it that they're looking to do this exact same thing. I, anyway, guys, uh, I'm starting to ramble here. Um, you guys, uh, get in touch with me. I'd love to be able to talk to you about real estate. Uh, I've been doing this forever. I know my game and, uh, you know, love to talk with you. I hope you found this uh, enjoyable and uh, of interest and useful. Okay. Uh, give me a call, 415-336-9695, 415-336-9695. I know you have my number. Okay, guys, have a good week. Take care.